Hi everyone, welcome back to Book Talk Thursday. Let's talk about a genre of literature you may not have heard of before, magical realism. Stories with magical realism usually take place in the real world, but there's something unique about it because there's an undercurrent of magic or fantasy. Um, if you've ever seen Pinocchio, Christopher Robin, Life of Pi, or Edward Scissorhands, these are some good examples of magical realism. It's the real world, but something magical is going on. In the book, The Boy, the Bird, and the Coffin Maker, the story takes place in Alora, which is an island town where fish fly out of the ocean and land on your front step. The people in this town have everything that they need and more. Alberto is one of the main characters in this story. He starts out as a toy maker, but a tragedy has caused him to change his profession and he has become the town's coffin maker. He's the age of a grandfather, but he has no family and he's very lonely. Tito is a lost little boy and he arrives in town one day with his bird, Fia. Tito is running from something and always hiding, but Alberto figures out where he's hiding and tries to bring him out of hiding with little treats and food and things like that. But Tito wants nothing more than to feel safe, but he isn't sure he can trust Alberto. Um, can they both learn the power of friendship and escape the shadows of their past? The Boy, the Bird, and the Coffin Maker is a beautiful story filled with charming illustrations, dazzling characters, and teaches us the lesson of how families can come in many forms. This book is a short read, as you can see, um, and it was very quick and enjoyable. So if you're looking for something that um, won't take you much time, you could read it in a day. This is a good example. Um, I recommend this book for those who enjoy short, fast reads, like I said, or if you have enjoyed Lucy Crisp and The Vanishing House or Life of Pi, you will probably enjoy this book. This is available in our library, so you just click the link to place a hold in the catalog and start reading today. See you next Thursday.